In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of partial fractions. So let's start with a reverse idea. Let's start with combining fractions together. So this question here asks us to express that particular expression as a single fraction. So 5 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x minus 1 express that as a single fraction. Okay, well first of all we need to decide on a common denominator. Well, we can get the common denominator by multiplying these two together. x plus 2, x minus 1. This particular side will multiply by x minus 1, so we do the same to the top. Then there's a plus sign there. Then 3, x plus 2. Multiplying out the brackets, combine them together. 5x minus 5 plus 3x plus 6 over x plus 2, x minus 1. Notice that I'm not multiplying the denominators out. That's wasteful. Uh, there's, it doesn't make it simpler to multiply out already factorised brackets. OK. Equals 8x plus 1 over x plus 2, x minus 1. And we've combined those fractions together into a single fraction. But suppose we wanted to reverse the whole process. Suppose the question was, write 8x plus 1 over x plus 2, x minus 1 as the sum of separate fractions so how would we go about this well first of all 8x plus 1 over x plus 2 x minus 1 we can see from the factorised denominator that there's two separate factors to that, so if we're going to write this as separate fractions. The first denominator is going to be x plus 2, and the second denominator is going to be x minus 1. But we don't know what number goes on top yet, so let's call it a and b. And the purpose, purpose of this is to try and find out what a and b actually are. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by this denominator here. We get 8x plus 1 is identical to a times the denominator x plus 2 x minus 1 over x plus 2 plus b again multiplying by that denominator x plus 2 x minus 1 over x minus 1 and notice that this term here cancels with that and this term cancels with that leaving us with 8x plus 1 is the same thing as a x minus 1 plus b x plus 2. Now notice this is an identity sign, not just an equals, so that means this works for any value of x that you sub in. So there's particularly convenient values of x that you can sub in here to make terms disappear. If I sub into this x equals 1, I can see that this disappears, leaving me with some nice easy algebra to do. So let's let x equal 1. So subbing that in, 8 lots of 1 plus 1 is 9, equals... So what's happened here when we sub 1 in? 1 minus 1 is 0, meaning that whole term disappears. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3b, which means that b is 9 over 3, which is 3. Similarly, if we sub in minus 2, we can make this disappear. So let x equal minus 2, which means that, okay, minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. 
equals, okay, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 attached to an A, which means that A is minus 15 over minus 3, which is 5. And now we've got our A and B, so we can conclude that the answer to this, right, as set refractions, is 5 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x minus 1. And there's our answer. And just to confirm that that is the correct answer, if we go back to the original question, which we can see at the top of the screen there, that is what we started with. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.